with a drop C tuning. And uh, so this is going to be C, G, C, F, A, and D. And you're going to start out picking the, just the way we're going to call the strings by their standard uh, letter. And uh, so the first one's going to be E. down up and then you're gonna do a open and then ring finger fifth fret that's what I do the ring finger ring finger fifth fret of the D string and then middle finger on the fourth fret of the D string as well then so middle pointer ring middle however you want to do it D string you're gonna pick together. You're gonna do that four times, and then you're gonna move into this uh, shape you're gonna use often in the song. You're gonna bar with your pointer finger the, the E, the A, and the D string on the ninth fret and then ring fingers on the 11th fret of the G string. So you're gonna uh, strum that a couple times, and then you're gonna go, you're gonna take that ring finger off, and you're gonna do your middle finger, you're gonna leave your pointer finger there, and then your middle finger is gonna go to the 10th fret, and then you're gonna take it off. Slide down from that first shape down to the seventh fret, uh, bar the top three, and then ring on the ninth. So I'll do that part again. to that shape again, 9th bar fret, and then uh, the 11th fret of the G string. So instead of doing the middle finger the second time on the 10th fret of the A, and then letting off, you're going to go right slide down to that shape, two frets down. this little part on the 10th fret of the A string and then ring finger on the 9th fret of the A string so I'll play it again uh, and then you're going to get into the strumming for the chorus and that's going to go Open E, and then you can do fifth fret of the G. Well, sorry, it's the A string, and then seventh fret of the D and seventh fret of the G, and then up to the seventh fret. You can do that bar chord shape with the. You can do your pinky on the ninth, and you're barring the seventh fret. Slide down two frets, and now you're going to do a D chord shape but you're not going to play the E string, so you can just do your pointer and your ring finger, but you're going to play all the other strings. And then you're going to play just the second fret of the uh, A, the fourth fret of the D, and the fourth fret of the G. Back up to the fifth fret bar chord uh, for the top three, and then ring finger on the seventh fret of the G. Back to the D. You're going to do 3rd fret, 5th fret, 5th fret of the A, D, and G. Back to the intro. 
but uh, I'll do that real quick for you again. That's gonna be. part again basically everything that I just taught you just repeat it twice and then at the second time instead of going from that three five five back to the intro you're gonna go down to two four four and then open to two so second fret of the A string and fourth fret of the D string and then you're going to open you're going to have an open G string and you're going to pick uh, A D A G back down to the D and then you're going to take your pointer finger off and play open A your pointer finger off as well so and then the last note you're gonna put your pointer finger back on the second fret of the A right again and this time you can do second fret of the E so you're gonna do this twice I'll show you There, do that twice, and then after you do that, you're gonna go into this uh, next part. You're gonna start with the second fret of the A, fourth fret of the D, and fourth fret of the G. Slide up to that same position or that same shape up to the fifth and seventh frets, and then you're gonna bar the seventh fret, just the top three, and then you're gonna do seven nine nine back to that first shape. Back to the original starting position, 244. Back up to 577. 777 again, the bar. Now down to 222. So it kind of repeats, just changes at the end. I'll send a tab, or I'll, I'll put up a tab so you guys can see that then. But it's going to go. seven bar you're gonna go straight to the bar at the second fret and you're just gonna play that twice and then the second time around he's gonna do the same thing but instead of just doing that bar at the second fret you're gonna add that pinky on the fourth fret of the G and go back to the intro Intro is going to be quite simple. So you're gonna play this again. You're gonna go after the intro. And you, so we'll, we'll start with the intro.
they do some kind of tuning. I'm not exactly sure. I'm in drop C. I think they're somewhere between drop C and drop C sharp. 